Cluster seizures are a kind of uh, epilepsy phenomenon in which people have repeated seizures but regain consciousness in between. In other words, if one person had a seizure that kept on going, that would be called status epilepticus. If they do not regain full consciousness, that could still be part of status epilepticus if it lasts more than 20 to 30 minutes. However, if they have several seizures in the course of a few hours, or unusually over the course of a day, I would consider that a cluster. Cluster seizures, there is no single definition and it's gonna differ patient by patient. So for example, in one patient who doesn't have hardly any seizures at all, maybe goes three or four months without seizures, then has a cluster of breakthrough seizures when something else is wrong, that's what their cluster is. Another person who has 10 a day um, on, a ba on a normal day, on a good day, may have 20 or 30 or 40 on a bad day and that's their defined cluster in someone with intractable epilepsy. Most patients who have seizure clusters tend to have um, difficult to control uh, or medically intractable epilepsy for the most part. There's another group of patients that we are not talking about, and those are patients who may have long seizures, um, and sometimes we use certain drugs f uh, that are similar in that situation. But for clusters, it's a pattern that is different from their usual seizure pattern. So if they may be having seizures once or twice a week, all of a sudden they have six in one day, that's a cluster. It's not a seizure type, it's rather the repetition that we call cluster. When I think about who those patients are, they're typically patients who have lots of seizures. They're difficult to control. Um, they're frequently people with multiple handicaps, and, and the kids that I'm thinking of, and they grow up to be a, a teenagers and adults with, with other handicaps, but they have lots of seizures. They're not the controlled people usually. You should ask, does this ever happen? Because people don't think about it. You have to ask the question.